Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to set up any Android phone. Now, when you first unbox your device, you've inserted your SIM card and you've powered it on for the first time, you're going to have to go through the steps of setting it up. Now, while every phone setup process will look slightly different, all the core menus will be the same. So I'm showing this on a Samsung, but these options will apply for Sony, Motorola, LG, HTC, um, Alcatel, basically most any device uh, will have these set of options. So to kick start, you'll want to be pressing uh, your language. You want to select your language from the list and select start. From there, I'll ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi. Obviously, you'll find your Wi-Fi on the list. I'm not going to, uh, talk, I'm going to toggle this off because I just want to go through them. But from there, you want to select your Wi-Fi, enter your password, select next. Here, as usual, you'll be asked to agree to the terms and conditions. Again, select next and agree. And we'll now check your connection. So this is when it will look for things like your SIM card, just to see what you've got. It'll also, um, as it's in there, manually check for any updates. Um, so this uh, will basically, if you've got a Google account, which we'll cover in the next step of this, you can use this op these options to basically port over those settings onto this device. So if you've got a separate Android phone that's already got your Google account signed in, you can copy Google data uh, and then all those settings automatically go across. It is highly useful. And if you've got a second Android device, uh, definitely do this, especially if you want like a mirrored device, if that makes sense. Obviously, I'm going to just put no thanks at the moment. It'll then check all this info again. Now, this is the most important bit. This is when you'll uh, add your Google account. Now, your Google account will be the basis of downloading apps, connecting to Google apps. It, you know, it uses, your Google account is pretty much the, <laughs> the most essential part of your, this setup process. So if you've already got an email account, just type it in there, or the phone number associated with it, but arguably use the email. Type in the email and type in the password. If you haven't got one, you want to select or create a new account. And this will take you through the sign up process where you'll need to enter your name, address, and create an email. It's simple, don't stress about it. Uh, we're going to skip this for now, yep, yeah, so we don't have to do that. You'll then be asked to personalize your device. So I'm, see, I'm just going to put my name as uh, shown, like that. Simple case, just to personalize your device. You also have to put your real name. <laughs> and here you'll be asked to set up your email. So if you, again, if you've just logged in with your Google account, you can put this, per, select the personal option and then log into your Gmail as well. Or if you're not too sure on which email you want to use, just select not now. And then again, go to next. Now, <laughs> we're getting there, I promise. <laughs> now it's about all protecting your phone. So if you want to add any security, so you can add your fingerprint, which won't be in, uh, that is the one option that won't be on all Android devices. Um, newer devices will have the fingerprint option. Some older ones won't. I highly recommend having a, the pin option um, enabled, pin pattern or password. So you'll be taken to that screen where you can create your own uh, basic security layer. So when you try and unlock your phone, you'll have to go and enter a pattern or password first. Or you can choose no thank you if you don't want that. And skip anyway. Then you'll just want you'll have to be scrolling through this. Press next. Those are all okay. There's nothing malicious there. And then obviously what will happen then is that you'll be taken to your final account screen. So for Sony users, this will say Sony account, Motorola, Motorola account. Uh, you know whatever make you've got, they'll want you to create the, your own account with them. Uh, this isn't. Uh, vital you don't have to do this um, the Google account is a much more important one Samsung if you do have a Samsung phone I'd recommend it just because of the Galaxy App Store um, but it's not worth you know you don't have to you can always scroll to the bottom and select skip and the same as here you'll be able to copy all your device all your stuff uh, this goes through the weather again these are all extra options that you don't have to use. It depends how much you want to tailor this. Samsung have easy mode, we'll go skip that. And finally, the My Knox option. So this is a secure place like a vault. Again, this is a Samsung only feature. And we just click finish. Well, I think that's the finish. And after that, your final process and the install and setup will have finished. You then be have free reign to kind of do whatever you want. But that is the basics of how to set up any Android phone. Thanks for watching.